We're into uh, Fire Prevention Week, which this year dovetails into the Thanksgiving weekend. It's a weekend where the kitchen's very busy and that happens to be the focus of Fire Prevention Week this year. What are some of the potential hazards there? Well, yeah, the uh, Fire Prevention Week this year is dedicated to kitchen fire safety. Um, number one cause of fires in the home is kitchen fires caused by cooking. And uh, with Thanksgiving coming, you know, the tips we give you any day of the week, but uh, this coming weekend is, you know, don't leave your food unattended, go to the, in another room, don't sit on your electronics and not pay attention. If you're cooking and frying, you know, be aware of that hazard. And should you have a fire, you take a, a lid and slide it across the top of the pot or pan to smother the fire. Carefully take the uh, pan off the stove move it aside and turn off the burner and let it cool off. Don't throw water on a burning kitchen fire. Yes, that's very good. Um, what else was I going to ask there? I think that's probably, oh, oh I know what it was. So uh, when people are doing yard cleanup, especially if they're in, say, a forest interface area, now might be the time to you know, make sure you take care of some of those needles and the leaves and that kind of thing that potentially could spread a fire to your property. Yeah, potentially like with, uh, I mean, any time of the year is a good time to take care of your property, but yeah, if we're gonna clean up in the fall, absolutely, let's get rid of the pine needles and, and, and dry leaves and some of the dead underbrush and get them hauled off your property. Fire smart, your property is, is uh, good at any time of year, but certainly in the fall, we're gonna be out there doing a little more yard work. So take that opportunity to, to fire smart your property. And you're also doing, under the Fire Smart program, I understand you're doing some contract work along Tronson and uh, East, East Side Road to remove some of the fuel there or coming up this fall? Yeah, that's that's been uh, in, the, in the works for a while. We're gonna be doing some fuel mitigation, which means exactly that, removing the dead fuels that are under the trees, the dead vegetation, and, and thinning out some of the trees so potentially we, have, we would have less risk of forest fires starting. The concern on east side, I guess, is that they can fall across the road if they're big enough trees? Is that kind of...? Well, that the, 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 the east side road is, yes, there's the potential for that, but east side road has heavy fuels. They're very dry fuels. They're self-facing, so it makes it more prone to uh, erratic fire behavior should we have a wildfire. So that's an area of uh, great concern to us to, to mitigate that as, as soon as we can.